Alright, so on to Gelato Beach. Just another one of these things, and I believe this... Yeah, this should be a last of dealing with those piranha plant things. It's always strange how the top of that lighthouse is just floating. Here we go. It's raining outside a little bit. You're gonna be hearing this controller more than the rain, as long as it doesn't start storming. See how this guy's dancing a bit. These dune bugs, they make formations. Also helpful for knocking these guys out. what those characters are. Little shell creatures called nookies. If we start off with a Mario level. Yeah, for this one, you really want to do those long jumps things. Just it'll make it easier than having to worry about messing with those sand blocks. That right there will open up to Pinna Park, but as I said, I'm sticking to this. Don't worry about it. Once I'm known Gelato Beach.
Yep, and there's a Wiggler stuck up there. Sleeping. This right here is where you're going to want to stick to just free firing rather than aiming at them. Then you want them to be on the edge and then ground pound and that will launch them. This last one can be tricky because you have to go up against three of them. And it's usually one that will. Usually the third one that will give you trouble. At least one. At least one's better than nothing. Oh, I gotta get more water soon. There we go. And he just falls apart. castle was. Yep, and after being woken up from his little dream, he's now rampaging. So what we gotta do is get these things up and just knock them out. Now 
he is angry. I did nothing. Thought I got him, but nope. Same spot. Yeah. Oh, this is a good way to explore the, the beach if you are not wanting to worry about those. Duck things. I believe they're called Sataquacks. hatched and it's now in the sky. We gotta go collect some red coins for it.
the next all I have to do is just slide down here. Jump. And just land right in here. This part gets a little bit, gets pretty tricky, especially once he starts turning on his side. So I kind of avoid the wings for a bit. Right there is when he begins to turn. Turn to his normal position. And that should be the last of it on the bird. Fun up there. There we go. Usually this mission is a lot harder than it, than it normally seems to be, but that's it. It's as easy as that. Yahoo! Frankly, it is one of the easier, or at least easier looking missions. It's just mainly dealing with the wings and the bird turning. It's really, that's all you have to worry about. This is where we actually see racing. Shoot, it's been a long time since I've done one of the races with him. I forgot who this guy really is. There's actually an identity for him, but other than that, you just gotta beat him if you lose. You pretty much lose a life. Just an everyday Super Mario Sunshine level. Fuck, I have a feeling I'm probably gonna screw this up. Yep, I lost this one. Now you know what happens.
Yep, he had to shine with him. I'm not gonna ask. Yep, another red coin commit. Red coin mission, and we're really it. Next is just Shadow Mario, and then we're done with Gelato Beach. guys as they will try to drown you. You can do that, you know, give you a boost. has been pretty quiet on these episodes for the past few levels. Yeah, I guess I'll just discuss why I'm not doing 100% through. So the reason why I'm not 100%ing this one is really just because well, I also mentioned it earlier, just too much time and there's really nothing that you get out of 100%ing the game, getting all the shine sprites. You just get a little title card that, like, just, you know, congratulates you on doing so, and that's really it. There's really not much, not much really worth going after. I mean, it's, the only decent reward is just playing the regular game, and that's really it. And, I mean, I do have a guide that I could use to get everything, but I'm pretty much saving that for another thing. I don't even know if I'll even, I don't know, I might just leave it as a stream, but even then, I just think it'd just be me wandering around doing pretty much nothing since I have no clue where I even found or left all the blue, remaining blue coins.
hit the loud clacking of these controllers because these things are all plastic and these things will become blaring on the mic. There's ultimately nothing I can do about it. spray as much as you can the reason why I do these bursts kind of things is because it bursts water out rather than just shooting one continuous stream though at the cost of the sound of the button mashing showing up on the mic Quickest episode I've done on really just quickest level I've done. Really forgot how short Gelato Beach is, and that doesn't really have too many challenging, or really any challenging levels whatsoever, aside from the very beginning. So I guess we'll head on over to Pinna Park next. <laughs> 